Aries, welcome back. And for all those who do not know me, well, everything happens for a reason. Welcome. Aries, the seven of hearts. This tells me that you're a little bit confused regarding love right now. Maybe things are what you want to say. Maybe tea could be significant. But more or less in love, what I'm seeing is cake and like seafood towers, these kind of things. The lover's energy here also with the six of heart tells me that there is someone here just wanting for you to say yes here with that queen of diamond you know that you are the one very very beautiful energy on the bottom of the deck we have the eight of diamonds someone here really is laughing behind your back. I feel sewing could be significant. But it's almost like somebody's snickering at you. Perhaps as if you can't do something or you'll never be good enough. I don't know here why there is someone around you that thinks less of you here. Very beautiful energy coming through. Very responsible energy coming through for the Aries. Whatever this is, this partnership is destined. The two of hearts here say yes, you know, there was decisions there there really had to be some kind of proposal here to even get to this point so things are going to start looking real nice for you and whatever energy that is coming in snickering at you don't let it confuse you especially in love here but i do feel that trickster energy coming in aries now, this is very much a um, handsome man here. This is a little bit past courtship. I really see coffee, tea, the delicacy, uh, exquisite food. Good food, the love of food, could even be somewhat overindulging here at times. Aries exclusivity. Are you one of the few here that you know of someone around you that could be just sabotaging you here? Maybe sabotaging your work? The Eight of Diamonds here. Very much a uh, Virgo energy coming in with that Eight of Diamonds. Perhaps, I mean, check your chart. You could have definitely earth placements in your chart here. Maybe you perhaps find someone here or have saved someone or perhaps yourself watch out. I feel 
someone around you might sabotage you in some way. There's gauze and a needle here. With the tower, this tells me as this woman is laying down as if just exhaustion, maybe too much, but it's quite a surprise to those that are around, but it feels as if somebody could be really trying to hurt you here in some way. As you're sitting there, this person is doing things here that could possibly make you sick, put it in your clothing. I'm seeing like clothes, something, touching something, a cloth. Or someone gave you a cloth or something. The three of diamonds here. This tells me furniture. A chair. A table furniture here the three of diamonds tells me there's some way that you can show talent the three of spade here okay 33 something is very significant regarding uh, what position you take here with the high priestess, you need to be using your intuition. Somebody perhaps wants you your position. Hold on one second, please. Okay. All right. But regarding your position here, the high priestess tells me that you are stepping in to this position one way or another and this is going to be very surprising to whoever is snickering at you now we have the world card as confirmation so others see you stepping in a position perhaps you wear many hats many responsibilities throughout the day aries here but maybe your furniture or perhaps you're needing new furniture. It looks really nice. I see some nice furniture coming for you there, Aries. But with the star energy, Aquarius energy here with the world card, overall, do you have the faith? Do you have what it takes to heal a situation here? You've... If you have taken that initiative. Huh. All right, hold on one second. <laughs> if you have taken the initiative, I do and are able to heal a situation that has definitely caused a tower between you two. You and your lover, there was something here. It was exhausting, overstimulating, overwhelming, confusion. 
Perhaps this is a marriage that you are in here. Very much a marriage. Maybe you overindulge time to time here. You really are a tea drinker, coffee drinker, these kind of things. Now with the queen, the queen of diamonds and this world card, no doubt about it, very boss energy. This is where you're at. Aries Collective, the Eight of Diamonds in the Tower here, something is very much now an even, let's say, exposed even, because like the, the, the playground more or less is clear, the field is clear, the sky is clear, you can see clearly now the rain is gone. It's a bright, bright. Okay, but anyway, with the star here, there was a challenge here. Aries, the challenge after something that makes you just want to just break. And yet, you know that in some way star child exclusive be one of the few you are one of the few aries to be able to achieve something so great In leadership, to be able to show the truth. From the light, from the dark, very much from just matter itself coming together to make something. You are beautiful and deserving. But the challenge of healing a situation after something is exposed and you feel as if, well, maybe I should have known that they really thought less of me. And you're able to heal and look forward. I do see where you should know you are ready for a leadership position, a better role here. Now, there will be healing for you, but you're going to be willing to accept it, are you? Whatever is coming in, you have the right to choose. If you are single at this time and or engaged perhaps you have been waiting to get married and I do see some of this indulgence coming in perhaps to allow this to happen now I do also see perhaps like a reception or something like this just take it easy something just emotional is exhausting that tower, everything being so exposed. For the lovers. The eight of fire. The king of fire.
very much controlling your feelings. I feel change coming in, kind of softening Aries. You will be receiving news, perhaps, of this lovely energy coming in. You want this to happen. Now, the seven of heart comes with the seven of air. Here, this tells me that you need to embody the essence of nature. If you have to trigger that high priestess energy, the seven of air and the seven of heart here tell me that you need to know that eight of fire, that news that you are going to receive. Panda energy. <laughs> Panda energy for sure. That this is something completely you wholeheartedly want. That high priestess energy. That seven of air. That seven of heart tells me yes, that there's confusion. Maybe you feel like giving up. But there you there you are with that star energy healing a situation, you see. With that two of earth. Balancing everything out, right? What do you do when you're balancing it out? So you just show talent. You're paying attention what to what you can do and to the details around you to be able to show your talent. Exclusive. Aries the love and the self love that you embody here with that high priestess energy tells me the Taurus energy that Venus energy a lot of you very rare we're all connected and through the, the light and the dark, you choose at some point to be the one who is doing. giving or the one who is getting done or taking we have the ability to heal those that are younger and those in our family around us by embodying the star energy here the Jack of Diamonds embodying hey let's admit heal and let's actually prepare ourselves to be the best version of ourselves and that takes self love and that takes shadow work. A lot of you have built much, let's say, lamp oil for that lantern of yours through these trying times. And you're going to be fine. And you're going to heal. And you're going to make it through. And you're going to step into that energy with that king of water this tells me very much Pisces energy here controlling your feelings choosing to heal
if it means turning your back on certain things, you know what you needed to do. You, you needed to cut off certain people with that Queen of Diamonds, that High Priestess energy. Using your intuition a little bit more at that Seven of Fire and that Queen of Air. That you know that you can control. You have the wisdom to control you. To maybe break off from the pack and drive it home. Drive your ideas home. Get your creativity out there. With the Queen of Air, you have what it is to be able to communicate what you need to communicate. Now, some of you are like, I don't know, she'll never make it or he'll never make it. Well, guess what? No matter what you've been through, you can make it. That star energy, you can heal and become a better person. Now, I, I don't talk about myself ever, but I've, I've been to juvie. I have been to jail. I have been divorced. I have been through every possible situation. And any time that I could help others, I did. And I had a choice at that time to either be the one that was steering someone down the wrong path or being lady or gentleman you don't have to be gender specific here uh to help someone but me being a lady i actually took myself out of whatever place in my mind i was in and i opened my mind put myself in someone else's shoes and listened to them if I would have never been to jail, maybe I wouldn't have learned a lot of the the things in life that I could overcome things. If I could overcome all the hurt and fear of what I have been through and count by how many times I've got back up on my feet. I have built myself a ladder with steps after step through test after test or through the test with hope and faith and built Those, the, the light through the darkness. The wisdom through all those trying tests lead me to where I am at today to have the knowledge to do what I do today. I would not have been able to help people around me. Not saying I was always perfect. No one is, but we can become better. I see someone sees your self worth. Someone sees all that you have been through. It really is up to you to decide. But I see some of you really indulging in this romance. And it, it's going to light up your life here. This position... Some of you, I feel very much Taurus energy. Some of you could have been very much, let's say, ab abused. Mm -hmm. 
hearing the used trials, tribulations, and strife, exclusivity. High Priestess, please. Whatever the opportunity that is coming in for you, the excitement, it's all. The passion that you have and the drive and the enthusiasm. The Ace of Wands. The Eight of Swords here, the Two of Swords, and the Seven of Cups here. Tell me the confusion here. The guarded, the, the wall that you have built, Aries. The energy that you have to go through. You feel the exclusivity of the situation overall, but you are free. The, the, it is freer than you think to free yourself from a situation that keeps you bound overall. Are you going to accept self-love and passion for yourself? Whatever power position comes and accept it you might not know it's coming but it is coming whatever it is going to free things up and you you're not going to know when it happens it's happening though just very much going to happen it's going to be like what i'm seeing someone here just like yes this is something we can really build upon don't put your eggs all in one basket. Really, uh, that intuition feels so like Medusa energy as well. Very much. Uh, hmm. Puff the magic dragon. <laughs> that two of water. Very much lotus energy coming in, clematis energy, jasmine, jasmine, Aries, jasmine, spring, jasmine. That's gonna free your energy up a little bit. Very much romance coming in for you, Aries, temptation, the hot spot, plenty to overindulge in. High Priestess on the bottom of the deck again. And that messenger, you will be receiving communication. I direct things are going to be moving pretty fast for you. Hold in there. Maybe like right when you were giving up on a situation. Boom. There it is. Holding on to something when we thought maybe it was broken, but overall, in the long run, this is like having your cake and eating it too. This is really amazing energy. You deserve this. You deserve this beautiful energy coming in. You've been working on something really hard and you're watching it pay off. Well... I'd say, hey, networker, you really need to get out there and do what you do. Get it out there in the world. Talk about it. 
there's there are communities out there that do what you do or can help you get your uh, voice out there perhaps a friend or if you don't necessarily know how to do it there could even be classes I can see some of you perhaps working close to someone within an office definitely using different resources around you and perhaps someone around you just does not like you but I definitely see some sabotage here and I feel as if someone thinks that they're maybe even smarter than you or you don't deserve the position that you are in here and no spirit's not gonna have that there with the tower perhaps someone uh, even falls ill here and that high priestess energy, this is the result of someone possibly doing too much to you here, networking too much here. Perhaps food poisoning could be significant here. The two of heart, food poisoning. There is something with food poisoning here. The six of club. Wow. Perhaps this food poisoning was successful here with food. Perhaps someone knew that you were allergic to something and they thought it was funny here. I don't know. You just really watch out. I don't like seeing that kind of energy, snickering energy. Celebrating. But someone here, they are lying to you. Very unreliable energy. They're sitting here crossing their fingers and they are lying. As you see, perhaps blonde hair, highlights, highly significant, short hair. Perhaps rescuer. People are not following through on their promises. Maybe expected money may not even materialize. But remember, asking for help has never been a sign of weakness. It's quite the opposite, okay? It shows your strength. I feel someone may enter your life and help you resolve any difficulties that you may be experiencing. Perhaps... Uh, firefighters, just paramedics, or any rescue or heroic uh, profession overall. Your pers your persistence is going to show through with something, but there's something unethical that you're might going to have to explore here and use your instinct with the animal instinct. There is something here that's going to be resolved and healed regarding your comfort. Balancing out. Balance, balancing out your finances, perhaps, within your comfort. There's something very comfortable, like a period within your life that you're going to be entering. But... Maybe you're not exactly rich, but you're going to be living comfortably. Everything's going into a state of balance. But here with the promoter card, you're going to need to use the law of attraction. If you want something, be the energy that you want. That's going to help you manifest that, that new idea or project. And again, once again, beautiful energy with motivator energy coming in. Ooh, sounds like my laundry is finished. <laughs> but there's still a skill here that you possess. It needs to be shared with the world. So pretty much let it out. Now, your emotions, as long as you can control those emotions. And it's like, I got a red heart. All right. Um, somebody's got a red heart. <laughs> but there's a counselor here. So... Um, maybe there's some emotional or mental blockages that you've been going through and it's time to have some emotional healing. I just can't make it up basically. You're, you're going to have to 
own the past, heal the past, let it go. And understand that maybe sometimes you're, you're not happy, you can't even celebrate your achievements because of the things that you can better yourself become a better version not only for you but those around you and within your relationship there is going to be some healing that's going to need to take place first or this relationship will be unreliable your comforts will be unreliable maybe you're gonna have to constantly reach out to others you know to better yourself your emotions are very very important here regarding where this relationship is going how comfortable are you overall speaking about your emotions for one do you need motivation yourself or inspiration to even be able to go and get your emotions out there to even find counsel about something that you're going through or to get where you want to go you really do need some trustworthy energy around you especially now more than ever your, pers your persistence is here. Whatever it is, it feels like if you don't think that you're good enough, then you're not going to be able to make something happen. But you're still persistent, let's say, about making your goals from the very get-go happen. You see? You, you, your animal instinct here is pushing you there. It's driving you to what you want. But it won't exactly come out the way you want it. So you do want to have your cake and eat it. You want to be able to overindulge and celebrate and be able to have what it takes to be able to do it. Maybe perhaps some of you want to rescue somebody or help somebody. Trident energy. Something very different from night and day. Feeling that. Very much queen energy. Now, I did write a poem. I'm going to finish this reading with. Okay. So, I'm going to read some poetry that. I have a blog. I'm going to start putting it up. With my life's work. I never share my stuff before. But I'm going to start now. Better now than never. And I'm going to share how I, I have felt in my past with you. Maybe it can help. You know. But I want you to know that deepest, darkest place, we all have most in common. So, right So why not share some of that You bless the room for they will bring great energies 
Some need healing and others need rest and others need to find themselves again. Look for protection from the smile for it should not be there. A body possession of energy passing through humanity during the times of distress. We anoint one another on the third as we pass and bless the room. The devil lives within, not without. So when we bless a room, we save a soul. Blessing a house, vions falling like stars. We now enter a grounded sanctuary, purified and clean, a place we call home. And I mean, I have so much more that I've wrote and I'm going to start sharing with you. Control your emotions. Some of you never show up for something when it's time to celebrate. I don't think that that is too healthy anymore here and it is definitely time to let go free yourself from that energy to control again be the wrong take control you know through these responsibilities build yourself up from whatever world you come from you can like we are like a kaleidoscope right shifting and shifting the different spectrums that we are and the things we go through and the things that it takes to make it through all these tests sometimes you are like man I would have that wasn't me. I would have, you know, through this test, if I could do it again, maybe I would do, done. no. You pass, leave it in the past. You're going to heal from it. You're building so much good energy into the ether here. You'd be surprised at how much you truly are worth the position that you deserve this is perhaps through a family here long line of queens something being passed down a gift being passed down whatever it is i feel like perhaps when you this energy is going to be very direct when it comes your way it's it's going to be so amazing you're going to be so happy so ready to celebrate but get motivated about what you are truly passionate about right now today this is your message to not give up the owl and athena i i'm really feeling very much aries energy coming in that you can embody that wisdom and through all that that strife and through this the tribute tribulation and the confusion and possibilities that you manifested you know that you are ready not only that but you are deserving of that better position that higher position now those you need to watch those around you watch your tongues they they speak unethical words the really dark energy they're looking for a light i feel like their battery is gonna run out soon i feel someone here has been perhaps let's say trying to take your light It's not going to happen. I'm going to know that Queen of Air here told me this. 
for you. Everything's going to be okay. Aries Collective, I really, really know this reading is going to help. Like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. And I know that it's a little bit long. So if you made it this far, thank you. Tomorrow I have a tooth pulled. So I am excited. Thank you. Anyway, wish me luck. And all of you have a blessed day and night. Until next time.